this is your this is your patch pocket here. We want to put this plate down the center of it. It's about a, it's an inch and a half plate. The irons that I use is a, is a 12 pound uh, dry iron I know there's no steam passing through the iron, the steam, the steam is uh, applied using a, a, a brush of water. The cold iron is there, it's, uh, it complements the hot iron. It's, it's heavy and it's a heavy metal iron. When it's laid on top of the cloth after it's been pressed, it, it cools it like the, uh, like the blacksmith who uses his bucket of water to, to cool the iron after it's come from the hot forge. Got some linen knives which uses a stiffener on the top of the pocket. I was teaching a class of students last Thursday on how to sew. And it's funny when you walk around the classroom you're trying to explain to a number of different people how it is you do something you've done for so long, how you hold your hand, explain how you hold the Made like that, sort of in the middle, leaving about you know, a good half or a quarter of an inch to the back. And then you get your finger, you the finger, your middle finger, you sort of bend it to the side like a hook. And as soon as, it, as, soon as the needle touches the cloth, pushing with the thimble. And you use this finger then to help to control it. So I don't put that finger down where the next stitch is going to go. Take our salacia and use this to bag out our pocket. It is uh, recommended to machine around first with uh, with your with your with your canvas stiffener across the top, so that it adds extra support to the top of your pocket, and then have the lining of the of the cotton salacia all the way through. I'm going to turn it on the edge and base it down. I'm going to sew around, I'm going to leave it at an opening right here so we can turn the pocket back out. Shown by machine, we get the corners nicely rounded the way that we want it. Machine stitch is considered to be a strong uniform stitch. Uh, there are times when machine stitching is is better than a hand stitch. Now we just trim off our excess. There's a couple of different ways of making a patch pocket. I think this is the easiest way for myself, it's just to bag it out, baste it on there and then prick stitch it through onto the front. I want to hide the seam inside so I roll the edge. So it's going to be hidden inside whenever it's stitched onto the front of the coat. And you pair it back inside, if you, cut a, if you cut the cloth back close to the seam, you a much nicer round in the corner of your patch. Otherwise the cloth will then lay in, the seam allowance inside tends to pleat up and tends to push it out at different angles. It ends up looking dimpled at the end. I used the flex canvas to prevent it burning the cotton and the cloth. We'll just need to set these to one side now.